Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for CBS 6 News at Noon. I'm Liz Bishop. The cleanup is continuing in, continuing in Albany right now after some heavy rains caused severe flooding in some areas yesterday. Less than an hour ago, the mayor's office announced that all city roads are now open and that they expect the crews will finish removing some downed trees and branches by the end of this day. But some people are going to be impacted for quite some time to come, like those living in a hard-hit section of Hackett Boulevard. Lynn Falsetti is there now live, and she joins us to tell us what it looks like. And from what we can see behind you, they got a mess on their hands, Lynn. They certainly do. Good afternoon, Liz. We're in some of the worst hit area right now here on Hackett Boulevard in Albany. There's a row of about seven multifamily homes. We're told about at least 14 families live here and they're going to be displaced. They're not allowed inside of their homes, not just for a few days, but for several weeks to come. And I want to show you some of the worst hit areas. Basically, what happened is the water ran down off of this hill and it formed almost a sinkhole underneath one of these homes. My photographer is showing you now. Crews are out here right now trying to fix that what that is. Uh, they're also trying to determine whether or not that building is structurally sound, whether or not it has to be rebuilt altogether. There are signs on the doors here that are not allowing anybody inside of these buildings for safety concerns. The American Red Cross, they did have a shelter in place for those impacted by the storm at Myers Middle School. That's several blocks away from here, but only one person was there earlier this morning. When our crews went back about an hour or two ago, nobody was there. We are told many of the residents that live here on Hackett Boulevard are staying with relatives and that in just one basement, about 5,000 gallons of water had to be pumped out of it. Andrew Tucker, he's one of the men that lives in the apartments and he was here earlier this morning surveying the damage. He tells us that he's lived here for years and yesterday's serious flooding was a first for him. But through worse, it happens, you know. Yeah. There's always somebody doing better. There's always somebody doing worse. You just, you know, count your blessings. It, happens, it occurs uh, once in a while, but I've never seen it this bad. This is the worst I've ever seen it. He goes on to say that his car is a big concern for him right now. Like many of the people that live here, their car is parked along a wall. We're absolutely submerged with water. He thinks that it might be totaled at this point. Uh, he will be staying with relatives, he does tell us. Now, the city of Albany will be assisting the people that do live in this home in any way they can, and they're asking you to do it as well. Uh, we have all that information on our website. That's cbs6albany.com, and we will have continuing coverage of the aftermath of yesterday's storms in our later newscast. But for now, we're live in Albany. Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News.